God, I have to get stronger with you. That's my prayer today and that's my prayer for all of us that we all can get stronger with God because this life is filled with so many ups and downs and we need God. We need to know that his presence is a constant in our lives that not even for one moment do we have to make a decision without him. Like yesterday, I got into crazy lady mode and God just said, call your son Joshi in Nigeria and I have an appointment with God with him. And we read our kids devotional, the Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life devotional for, for kids. And then afterwards, he told me a little story. He said, mommy, this is my 10 year old son, by the way, Joshi. Say, mommy, I realized I have three voices going on in my head. I have my own voice, I have God's voice, and I have doubt. And he told me a story of how he did something and he felt God telling him, no, Joshi, that's not the right thing to do. So he went back and did what he was supposed to do, listening to God's voice. And right in that moment, I realized that that's what I needed to do. I know the devil wanted to put some things in my head that I should do this and I should go crazy and blah, blah, blah. And Joshi just reminded me that I'm rolling with God, that I'm gonna do what God would have me to do. And like Natasha Cobb says, joy is where God is, love is who he is, and peace is where he is. So I always wanna be in that space, my most loving self, my most peaceful self, my most joyful self, listening to God's voice and making Papa God happy and proud of me in every moment. Not always easy though. So I was calling a friend in the Bahamas after that, and I told her, I said, you wouldn't believe what my 10-year-old son said to me. And I told her the whole story, and afterwards, I said, we have to be like Joshi. We have to be in every moment doing what God would have us to do. Because she admitted to doing something that she, she knew she shouldn't have done, and that's what wasn't what God would have had her to do. And I say, no problem. When we felt fall, we pick ourselves back up and we keep going and keep looking to God in every moment, seeking to make him happy. And right after that, I just sat outside having an appointment with God. And this um, meditation book that I just decided is just a book filled of God's promises and Bible verses. And I believe this is what I opened up to. It says, the thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will have its own worries. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So there I am just telling her that we have to make God happy in every moment, doing the things God would have us to say, going where God would have us to go, doing what God would have us to do in every moment. This is what I want us to shoot for and for this verse to come up was just God confirming it. It said, the thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. So that's where I want all of us in every moment, looking to make Papa God happy, looking to make him proud of us by being the excellent people, the highest in the room people that he would have us to be. I know some situations we're gonna have to be patient with, not gonna be always be the way we want our lives to be. But we have to look at all the blessings that God is doing for us. And God is doing so much for me, guys. He goes beyond what I ever asked or imagined of him. So little things that he asks us to do for him by being our most loving selves, our most peaceful selves, our happiest selves for his glory, guys. I want us doing it for Papa God and making him proud of us at every moment. Listening to my little spiritual guide, Joshi, making God, Papa God happy in everything we do.